Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at 855-879-4663, again 855-879-4663, or on the web at uh, Jonathan, excuse me, uh, on the web at www.bowenboston.com. Again, that's www.b-o-w-e-n-b-o-s-t-o-n.com. Uh, this is uh, 331 High Street, Randolph. It's a three-bedroom ranch, straight ranch. Uh, it's a bank-owned property. It needs quite a bit of work here. Uh, it's a good opportunity for a uh, developer contractor uh, for uh, to renovate it and uh, to flip it. All right. So let's go take a look. It's got a uh, detached two-car garage. I haven't been in there. Uh, we got to go in through the side. Well, let's go through the. Uh, Let's go to the backyard first. It does have an in-ground pool, uh, which, well, it's, it's filled with water. I don't know what that means. It means it probably doesn't have much of a leak. <laughs> um, you know, some buyers love pools, some buyers hate pools in my experience. Um, uh, you know, it's never, it's never one or the other. People either really love them or really hate them. So we're looking at the property from the back. You can see that it needs roof work. The windows are newer. Uh, it does have a central air compressor right there. So it does have central air. It's got a pretty decent backyard. High Street is a busy street, though. It's got a little deck as well, a little, little patio. Nope. You know, what the hell? Let's go into the garage while we're out here. Well, yeah. Not much to see, really. Concrete block garage. It looks like it's a pretty. It looks like. Excuse me. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, though. You know, they got some of their garbage here. Uh, so, all right, not too bad. Pretty good size. Uh, what, what we're not going to go. Uh, we're not going to go into that pool room, though. All right. So let's go take a look at this property here. And we're going to head right up into the kitchen. Uh, yes, the kitchen is purple and green. <laughs> Somebody had uh, an imagination here. So, yeah, the kitchen needs to be uh, replaced. You can see that the windows are newer replacement windows. Uh, there's the rest of the kitchen. Refrigerator would go over there. All right, so the property has been winterized as of December 21st of this year, which is not really that good because it has been freezing. Uh, before that time, so you never know what the uh, uh, the pipes are. You don't know if they're in good shape or not. So, this is your living room slash dining room. Uh, they have a dining room light over here, so you'd have a small little four-seater dining room, and then you'd have your living room here. It's you know, it's not a ton of living space up here. There is some living space that that's looking into the kitchen there. Uh, that there is some living space down in the basement though. So. Let's go down the hallway. Uh, first room here on your right is just a closet, really. It's got access to the attic, but it's just a closet. So, looks like they had some electronics, uh, cable box and stuff in here. Uh, all right, as we go down further, uh, here's your bathroom here. Looks like it was rehabbed uh, probably in the 90s. Uh, needs another rehab, I guess. So. All right, so this is the rear of the house. And then we're going to go to the rear bedroom here. This is the rear corner of the house. Smaller bedroom. I'd say it's probably maybe 10 by 10, I would say. So it needs, it needs a lot of work, but nothing that a contractor couldn't handle. All right, now we're going to go to the master bedroom, which is, again, not very large. I'd say this is probably 10 by 13, I would say. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, wallpaper. <laughs> um, so there's your closet there. All right, so let's go to this next bedroom here. And this is the front of the house. And again, this is not a very, not a very big bedroom. Actually, this bedroom doesn't even have a closet. Uh, so this... This uh, probably needs a closet, I would say. 
and it needs uh, a lot, you know, it's typical for the house, it needs a lot of work. Here's a closet in the hallway, a little linen closet, I guess. All right. And this is the rear of the house looking from the dining area. All right. So, all right, let's go down uh, downstairs. You can see that they tried to make more room in this house and they finished the basement off. All right. So they have, well, they had some sort of a, a living room area down here. You can see a little mold there. And listen, people got to relax with the mold. Uh, we've been living it with mold. Mold was here before us and it's going to be here after we leave. So anyway, and the vast majority of it, majority of it is non-toxic. Anyway, they just got to remedi uh, remediate that mold, tear that stuff out. All right, this is your... Um, this is your uh, washer and dryer area down here. And they did put another bathroom down here. I know you can't really see it too well. Oh boy. Oh, see, just turned the light on. I don't know why this wasn't on before. All right, stand up shower. All right. So, this was, I guess, a bar area. All right. Wet bar. Maybe they had a few parties down here. Who knows? Here's your electrical service. 100 amp, uh, 100 amp electrical. It's forced hot air. This uh, house is forced, forced hot air. And uh, that's really it, OK? So it's a good opportunity for a developer. There's your oil tank. So the house is oil. All right. There's your buried oil line. Here's your heating system. Forced hot air heating system. Here's your hot water tank. Here's your water main that's disconnected. No big deal. All right. So that's it. That's my showing of uh, 331 High Street in Randolph. If you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, this one's only been on the market for one day, and it's going to go under agreement quickly. So, uh, any questions, uh, I guess just give me a call. Again, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate, LLC. This is 331 High Street in Randolph. You can reach me at 855-879-4663. Uh, Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's www.bowenboston.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.